Hello students, how are you? Today I am going to start chapter 1 of science and the name of the chapter is my body. Okay, now I am going to show you something. What is this? Do you recognize it? Yeah. It is a watch. And we can say that this watch is a type of machine. Now, what is a machine? Machine, with the help of this machine, we can know what is the time now. Now, in your day, in your day to day practice, we use various types of things various types of machines and machine is a thing which makes our work easier and simpler and this machine is made up of number of parts so students our body is also a machine our body is also a machine and this machine is made up of number of parts. Now, I am having pen in my hand and I can able to write with this pen. While writing, what I am doing? I am writing with the help of this pen. So, we are able to do different activities with the help of our body parts. Example, writing, speaking, moving, playing and many more. All these activities are seen externally. These activities can be seen externally. Whereas, activities like respiration. You know what is ex uh, respiration? Breathing. We breathe in and breathe out. Now, if I ask you to hold your nose and mouth for a few minutes, what do you observe? You observe that you feel suffocated. So, these activities are taking place inside our body all day and night. So, activities like respiration, digestion, blood circulation, excretion, etc. takes place inside our body. So, be careful with your body. So, our body work like a machine and it has various parts. So, can you name the various parts of the body? You are familiar with your hands. With the hands, we can do various things. You are familiar with your legs. You are familiar with your skin. Now, what work with you do with the help of your skin? Skin gives, say skin is the sense organ of our body. And it gives us the sensation. It gives us the sensation of coldness, hotness and whether... Uh, if someone touch you, then you can feel it. So, instead of, if, when we are talking about the body, we will talk about the organs of the body. We will talk about the organs of the body. So, this organ is the new term for you people. So, I will explain what this organ is. Organs are special structures special structures present in our body present in our body that perform special functions so what is an organ organ are special structures present in our body 
that perform that perform special functions so these are the organs now can you name some organ eyes nose ear heart and lungs are some of the many organs present in our body clear so now when these number of organs these are the number of organs so when these number of organs work together when these number of atoms uh, when these number of organs work together then they form system so when number of organs when number of organs work together for a particular function for a particular function a system is formed what is formed a system is formed now in your class 4th you have studied that the mouth mouth the food pipe the stomach and the intestine and the intestine form the digestive system what does it forms it forms digestive system so what are these mouth food pipe stomach and intestine intestines are these are the organs what are they they are the this is an organ this is also an organ yes these all these are the organs and when these organs they combine together they are performing they are performing a particular function so a system is formed and what is the name of this system digestive system in the human in human bodies there are 11 systems and these 11 systems are very very important for the human body and all these 11 systems they are working together and i am going to tell you the name i am going to tell you the name of the some system which we are going to study that is the respiratory system i think you are quite familiar with this name respiratory system next one is the digestive system which you have already studied in your fourth class next circulatory system excretory system excretory system and skeletal skeleton system i am going to tell you the name of the five and there are six other system and the system work together to maintain the functioning of the human body now i am going to explain breathing system to you the nose the windpipe and the lungs help us in breathing so i have made this diagram for you people 
Now, can you answer this? Which part of your body are involved when you breathe? Can you, answer, can you name that part? The air, the air that we breathe in or inhale. When we take in air, the process is known as inhalation. What is meaning of inhalation? Taking in of air. Taking in of air. And when we, this is also known as breathe in. Okay. And when we breathe out, that is known as exhalation. And it means throwing out of the air. As you know that, which gas present in the air is used for breathing? Answer is oxygen. We take in air and in that air we are taking oxygen. Oxygen is very essential for the human body. Oxygen gas is very essential for the human body. All living things take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. We take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide and what this process is called? This process is called breathing. This process is called breathing. So what is breathing? Taking in of oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so this process is known as the breathing clear now i'm going to explain and this breathing how we can able to breathe this breathing is done with the help of the breathing system i have made this diagram for you people so, what is this? This is the nose. Number one organ of the breathing system is the nose. The air that we breathe in or inhale enters our body through the nasal openings of the nose. Ki air enters into our body through the nose. The nose, this is the nose, the nose is connected, the nose is connected to the two balloon like structures. This nose is connected with the help of this structure. I am going to make red for you people, this region red for you people. So this is the, the nose is connected to the two, these are the two balloon like structures inside our body and what name is given to this tube? This tube is known as the windpipe. This tube is known as the windpipe and these two balloon like structures, these are the two balloon like structures and these two balloon like structures, they are known as the lungs. In lungs, Oxygen is taken up by the blood and the carbon dioxide is unloaded. I am repeating this once again. In the lungs, we breathe in air. Air is rich in oxygen. With the help of the windpipe, it enters into the lungs. In the lungs, oxygen is taken up by the blood and carbon dioxide is unloaded. This carbon dioxide, this carbon dioxide is then, now this carbon dioxide is then driven out of the body through exhalation, uh, through the nose by the process of exhalation. The oxygen rich blood, this is the, now when the air enters into the, uh, this lungs, then the oxygen rich blood from the lungs is circulated 
to the all parts of our body this oxygen rich blood so the air we breathe in so inside the lung oxygen is taken and that oxygen is mixes with the blood and that is circulated to the all parts of the body blood also collect and then what the blood does uh, uh, what the blood does blood then gives oxygen to all parts of the body and collect carbon dioxide from all parts of the body and bring it back to the lungs thus we understand that during the breathing process during the breathing process oxygen is consumed by the body during the breathing process what is consumed oxygen is consumed by the body oxygen is consumed by the body this helps different organ to get energy to perform different functions also carbon dioxide is driven out of the body as a waste product our breathing system is always at work our breathing system is always at work because we have to create uh, we have to keep breathing all the time now physical exercises like running walking and playing help to keep our body and breathing system healthy now this is your today's lecture now what you are going to do you are going to revise this once again and tomorrow in the next part i will give you some questions so you are going to do those questions thank you students